Exactly one week ago this morning, thousands of people were waking up and getting ready to go to a country music concert in Las Vegas. None of them had any idea of the horror that would rain down on them from the 32nd floor of a Las Vegas hotel, the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. After the initial shock and disbelief, a lot of people are now asking why. How could this happen? How can we make sense of yet another senseless tragedy? Here's Harry Smith. When is enough enough? When do we look at images like the ones we witnessed this week and say, enough already? The horror, the grief, the broken bodies, the sheer senselessness of the mayhem. At some point, we will become inured to the violence. Perhaps we already are. Lest we get overwhelmed by the event in Las Vegas this week, fact is, mass shootings where four or more people are killed are relatively common. There have been more than 1,500 mass shootings in America since the day five years ago when 20 small children and six adults were killed at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Yet mass shootings make up but a fraction of the gun deaths in America every year. The whole country is in shock this California. morning, Matt. It's the scene just of this almost country's too much latest to bear. Horrific mass this shooting. tragedy at Sandy Hook Sandy Elementary, Hill. an unthinkable attack on young children. We kill about 30,000 people annually with guns. More than double that number get injured. Just over half the deaths are suicides. About 12,000 of the gun deaths every year are homicides, and at least half of those are young men, mostly young black men. There are more than 300 million guns in America owned by about a third of us. Millions more are sold every year. Guns are pretty easy to get. There are places in our country where it's harder to vote or to get mental health treatment than it is to buy a gun. The American Medical Association has declared gun violence a public health issue, like AIDS or Zika or the flu. Think of gun violence like a virus for which there is no immunization program. Despite that fact, the Centers for Disease Control haven't done a serious study of gun violence in decades. Somehow, it seems, when they try to mount a serious study of gun violence, the funding gets blocked by Congress. Yes, blocked by Congress. Oh, there's a shooting! There's a shooting! I don't know where to go! Imagine a country beset by an epidemic, an epidemic it chooses not to treat. Harry joins me now here. Harry, powerful piece, and it really illustrates the realities that we live in now. Well, the thing is, the thing happened as it unfolded last Sunday night and into Monday when we watched, and there was this feeling of helplessness, right? What do we know for sure? AMA says this is an epidemic. At least study it. At least open the door to some ability to look at the data, see what it can tell you. I'm so old, I remember when they said, we're going to start putting seatbelts in cars, mm. right? It would, people said this is this is unthinkable. This is restrictive. This is this is. I I, I want to be able to sit in my car without a seatbelt on. Is there some simpler solution? Who knows what the solution is in the end of the day? But unless we study it and look at the data, we'll never know. And no matter where you are on the political spectrum, everybody looks at this and thinks how awful it is. There are so many people who even belong to the NRA say there's some something needs to be done. Harry Smith, thank you very much for being here. I appreciate it this morning. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.